Hello and welcome back to our KSP career with me. I'm your host Groundforks and today we are launching our Minmus lander to Minmus. And I have two brave Kerbonauts with me, Stian Kerman and Kiltless Kerman, which are actually two of my patrons. Yes, as I told you, for those of you that chip in, my patrons and YouTube members, you are getting your own in-game characters. And thank you so much for your support. This is a great opportunity for me to actually thank you so much for your support. That means a lot. It helps me going, helps me build these more awesome episodes that you hopefully enjoy. And yes, Stian and Quiltus Kerman are gonna go all the way to Minmus land and perform some science and plant a flag there and all that in this beautiful Gemini-like lander. So, yeah, the plan is quite simple. Go to Minmus. I have actually a contract for a uh, crew landing on Minmus, go figure, although I did it like, what, 20 episodes ago? However, I have uh, started to use different types of landers, so I figured I wanted to go with more, you know, USA, ESA, NASA and all that kind of type of vehicles, so this is a me building such a launch vehicle. So, yeah, there we go, we have, we're aligning ourselves for the orbital insertion burn, which should take us 1 minute and 45 seconds and we have a good portion of it will happen on this main ascent stage. I have not made this one reusable, nothing like that. This is just a regular, all expanded or ex expendable. Yes, my tongue isn't tied yet. So expendable vehicle. Uh, the deployment procedure will be quite simple. I mean, we go, we insert and then we transfer all the way to Minmus. Yes, uh, the reason why I'm having the shroud, as you will see, I'm taking materials bay with me because what I'm trying to get there is to get on these bodies some sort of materials bay science because since I'm playing with Kerbalism, I can no longer send it. I have to return all the samples back and deadly re-entry is literally killing me. So, yeah, all right. There we go, and I'm not playing deadly re-entry, I'm playing stock deadly re-entry, but it's still, you know, a problem. So, there we go, now we're deploying the shroud, and I deployed the landing legs so that the shroud doesn't get stuck. Deploy the shroud and retract the landing legs, there we go. Then we will be opening up our solar panels and opening up our antenna. Beautiful, isn't it? Alright, so... Now we have to do the transfer and we're going to rename this to Minmus Lander 2, yes, or 3, correct. Then we're going to do the ejection burn to Minmus and let me just fiddle until I get a good enough encounter. Yep, okay, that looks like uh, almost a decent encounter to me. Yeah. I love fiddling with those, what can I tell you? It looks good enough. One orbit further down. There we go. Solar storm in progress. Whoopsie. Solar storm typically means that our Kerbals are being exposed to an insane amount of radiation. However, we are still being protected by the Earth, Earth Shroud. And this is actually the reason why I have extended for one more orbit. See? Now the orbital, the, the solar storm has passed, so I can safely eject. Solar radiation is actually one of the major factors that you need to take into account when playing with Kerbalism, because it makes your life, well, miserable, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually burning, and Stian and Kiltless are looking very, very happy. Hopefully you guys will be able to get a chance to very, get a very nice landing, do some awesome science, and then come back to Kerbin safely. That's the idea anyway. All right. We're dipping our feet back again into the, you know, crude missions, because we've do, been doing a lot of probes, and uh, 
we have to get out of our comfort zone and that's something that's really hard sometimes so yeah there we go scrubber water recycling atmospheric pressure everything is running so let's get in for a nice you know there we go beautiful oh i'm just looking for a good angle to actually record this as i leave the carbon Crossing radiation belt, exposed to extreme radiation. Yeah, I get it. Bye-bye, Kerbin, and let's see where is Minmus. All right. There is Minmus. Hello, and we are coming in, Minmus. Oh, boy. I think I'm actually coming from the wrong side. By the way, guys, I'm going to cordially invite you to smash that like button. Don't worry, we are nowhere near done yet. Oh, look at this beautiful screenshot. I mean, if that doesn't warrant a like, I don't know what does. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to burn and I'm going to actually flip the orbit. Yeah, you heard right, because we are flying in the wrong uh, orientation around Minmus. So I'm going to burn like this. Okay, there we go. There we go. See? A little bit of flippity flip flip and we are in 546 by 15 kilometer orbit. And now we are orbiting in the direction of everybody else. So that's the reason why I actually flipped it. And we have plenty of Delta V so nothing to be overly worried about or anything like that. So we are coming in and then I'm gonna be shooting for the landing site somewhere at least. So the idea oh do we have again solar storm what the hell exploring minmus crew and our people are our kerbals are exposed to extreme radiation not again damn you let's run the radiation scan yeah apparently those are kind of funny and mystery goo we can run for some more all right so do we have a chance to land somewhere i'm thinking here yeah all right do a little bit of a burn just to change our trajectory and then we shall be doing the landing. All right. I mean, I've explored Minmus pretty, pretty well actually. So that's the reason why I'm no longer even focusing it. But then again, since I've gotten the contract figured might as well. Okay, there's the Lowlands site. So there's the site that I've visited, but I don't know if I have visited this guy. So actually, Lowlands, Lesser Flats. I don't think I've been on the Lesser Flats. I could be wrong though. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kill my velocity and then slowly land. So Steon and Kiltless, yeah. We have 309 meters per second, so Sadly, I won't be using all of those, but then again, I'm gonna use as much as I can. I could be landing only on the engine bells, I mean, for sure. Uh, the Minmus, you know, atmosphere or Minmus gravity would allow it, but what would be the fun in that? So I'm just killing my vertical velocity as much as possible, and then I'll probably be dumping this fella. Bye-bye. There we go, and... There we go. Cool. All right. So. Awesome. Now we're going to be decelerating ever so slowly. And look at that seismic test. Kaboom. Yep. That's a seismic test. All right. Beautiful. Well. There we go, Steon and Kiltless coming for landing, that's nice. Alright, there we go. There we go, perfect landing. Steon and Kilt, how are you feeling? Look, explore Minmus crew. There we go, contract parameter complete. The storm is still blaring, so, I mean, we are actually... <laughs> yeah, where's the... Conduct a survey, science data from the surface of Minmus. Transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Minmus. I have to take some data and send it. So let's see, what do we have? Stian, you have that SpaceX, cool SpaceX suit. Yeah, 
That just looks marvelous. So deploy this and then take the surface sample and the EVA report. So site name, back on Minmus. Yes, we, Stian and Kilt were here. Yeah, okay, running the experiments. They will be actually well put to good use. So yeah, I'm making sure I'm picking those up. Kiltless, yeah, oh, I've noticed now. Sorry, Kiltless, I've actually taken the Lady Kerbal. Ah, uh, well, I, I actually renamed my uh, Kerbonaut, so yeah, sorry about that, Kiltless. Oh, come on! Stop faffing around, will ya? Yeah, Orbital Survey of Minmus, this is a mission that will be lasting decades, probably due to my poor craft placement, but who cares? Okay, so you come here. Gently turn around. There we go. Have a nice, awesome look at that. Come on, give me a smile. Yeah, ah, dancing. Okay, they're happy. Very nice, very nice. Cool. Yeah. Salute. Yeah. All right. Perfect. There we go, beautiful. Let's get you back into the ship and return. Get in and let's contract parameter complete. We're getting in and then we will be launching, yes. All right. Well, we have sent the science data, which means we should be leaving quite about soon. So yeah, I'm just making sure that I have prepped everything out before we shoot it off. There we go. All right. Raising the landing gear and Stian and Kiltless. I would have left you longer on Minmus, but the problem is that I'm really worried about uh, about the uh, the solar storm. So yeah, I don't want to be get irradiated and get even more green than they are supposed to be. So yeah. There we go, going up and everything is fine. There we go, so perfect. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna be starting burn in 25 seconds. So yeah, and burn. There we go. I'm using that one and a half, 1.5 meter engine because I think it fits the role just fine and it gives us a quite base and so and so. So yeah, all right doing the ejection burn and hoping to get a good uh, carbon encounter carbon periapsis yeah there we go I, I want a periapsis but I don't want I want it low but not too low because otherwise we don't want Stian and um, Stian and Kiltless to become you know toasty warm and grilled so yeah there we go come on 45 ish that sounds decent well all right, nice. So the burn will be a total of 168 meters per second. It's gonna happen in like two orbits. So in 50 seconds, we will be starting the burn. All the experiments we have picked up and hopefully we will be returning a glorious amount of science back to Kerbin. So there we go, three, two, one, and ignition. Beautiful, look at it burn. Amazing. All right. There we go. Kerbin periapsis. Perfect. Very nice. All right. So what we're gonna do is now watch this beautiful transition from Minmus back to Kerbin. By the way, guys, 
For those of you that are still watching with me, first of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for your wondrous support. And also, I'm just letting you know that at the end of the episode, you will be having a link to another coming episode where I will be delving in to start into the space casino things that we have kicked off a long time ago, but I never really started to do it. So the link to the next build episode for the space casino will be provided at the top right corner at the end screen for those of you that will still be watching. So those of you that like bing to binge watch, congratulations, you're in for a treat. All right, so, Stian and Kiltless. Let's just hope that I have managed to nail all the return parameters and I don't fumble up anything because, well, it's gonna get really warm in here. So, let's see. Um, oh, can I actually close the cargo bay doors? Because I think that would be actually quite smarter. There we go, we are burning and just to the orbit. I'm gonna, you know, burn all the way until I co completely consume all of my Delta V that I have. After all, why not decelerate in a nice and orderly fashion while we still can? So, yeah, there we go. Uh, well, let's ditch it. We are in already fine and let's just hope we don't hit this bad boy. When you're in atmosphere, you don't want to be ditching in this manner, yeah. I almost forgot that. And there we go. We are re-entering and I'm gonna turn off the lights because I want to save my energy for the reaction wheels that are keeping us oriented retrograde. Ooh, getting toasty. Stianel and Quiltless, will you be coming back safely to us back boys? Let's hope that you will. All right, so yeah, come on, come on. For your convenience, I've accelerated this to roughly four times, so you don't really need to stick through the whole shebang. And there we go. Thermal piece of the puzzle done. And then we are gently, softly coming back to Kerbin. There we go. Launching the chutes to decelerate us even further. Cutting the shoots and then, okay, sorry, not cutting the shoots, I'm just decelerated a little bit more. All right, and perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Now the shoots should engage and we should be landing ever so slowly. There we go. Look at it go. Beautiful. The last time I've actually landed on this, it was actually a lot worse and I've managed to fumble up my uh, my materials base sample so this time I hope it will not be the case uh, yeah okay material base still intact kudos there we go let's deploy the solar panels because my battery was getting drained and actually my seismic scan is still running so I figured might as well be you know running these two experiments yeah, after all, we might as well, you know, have picked up everything. So, there we go. 141 credits, which is beautiful. And uh, we have gotten a lot of, cur you know, ribbons. Kiltless and Stian, many new ribbons. Congratulations on those guys. So, a new coming episode for will be coming in the next one, which will be the Space Casino. Top right corner. Thanks for watching.